गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई कृतिका कुमावत प्रीति रे एंड डिम्पल बेथाड़िया आर प्रेजेंटिंग आवर आर्ट इंटीग्रेटेड प्रोजेक्ट फॉर द सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड आर टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज आर्ट इंटीग्रेटेड प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑन लाइट सो लेट इज टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज लाइट लाइट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी विच एनेबल्स अस टू सी और हेल्प्स इन विजन नाउ वॉट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लाइट लाइट ट्रेवल्स इन स्ट्रेट लाइन लाइट ट्रेवल्स वेरी फास्ट अराउंड थ्री लेख किलोमीटर्स पर सेकेंड एट दिस स्पीड इट कैन गो अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एट टाइम्स इन वन सेकेंड Light travels much faster than sound. For example, thunder and lightning start at the same time, but we will see the lightning first. When a starting pistol is fired, we see the smoke first and then hear the bang. We see things because they reflect light into our eyes. Shadows. Shadows are places where light is blocked. as you can see in the diagram that sun's rays are coming and uh, they that rays are means blocked by the tree so that the shadow of the tree can be formed now let us talk about properties of light in summary light travels in a straight line light travels much faster than sound we see things because they reflect light into our eyes shadows are form when light is blocked by an object part 2 reflection the laws of reflection first law angle of incidence and angle of reflection are always equal in other words lights are reflected from a surface at the same angle it hits incident ray reflected ray and the normal at the point of incident lie on the same plane which is our second law of reflection now let us talk about clear versus diffuse reflection smooth shiny surfaces have a clear reflection rough dull surfaces have a diffuse reflection diffuse reflection is when light is scattered in different directions we can see in the diagram that first one diagram shows us clear reflection and second one shows us diffuse reflection now let us talk about refraction refraction is when waves bend or slow down due to traveling in a different medium a medium is something that waves will travel through when a pan is placed in water it looks like this you can see in the diagram that pan seems to be bent yeah laws of reflect refraction of light incident ray refracted ray and normal lie on the same plane snell's law sin i upon sin r is equal to constant where i stands for angle of incidence and r stands for angle of refraction refraction through a prism phenomenon behind it the angles i and r that the rays make with the normal are the angles of incidence and refraction because n to depends upon wavelength the incident white ray separates into its constituent colors upon refraction with deviation of the red ray the least and the violet ray the most we can see in the diagram that Uh, violet light get bends the most and red one the less of color white light is not a single color it is made up of a mixture of seven colors of the rainbow we can demonstrate this by splitting white light with a prism this is how rainbows are formed sunlight is split by a raindrops the colors of the rainbow red orange yellow green blue indigo 
toilet. Adding of colors. White light can be split up to make separate colors. These colors can be added again. The primary colors of light are blue, red and green. Adding blue and red makes magenta which is purple. Adding red and green makes yellow which is Adding blue and green makes cyan, light blue color. Adding all three colors which is purple, sorry, blue, red and green makes white again. Lens. A lens is an optical device with a perfect or approximate axial symmetry which transmits and reflects light, converging or diverging the beam. Converging or convex lens, diverging or concave lens are the two types of lenses. Converging and convex lens. A converging lens is a lens that converges of light that are traveling parallel to its principal axis. Converging lenses can be identified by their shape. They are relatively thick across their middle and thin at their upper and lower edges. Diverging and concave lens. A diverging lens is a lens that diverges rays of light that are traveling parallel to its principal axis. Diverging lenses can also be identified by their shape. They are relatively thin across their middle and thick at their upper and lower edges. Refraction by a convex lens. Rules. A ray of light which is originally parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus after refraction through the lens. A ray of light passing through the optical center of the convex lens does not beam up bend after refraction but goes straight. Also a ray of light going along the path of principal axis of a convex lens also goes straight and does not deviate. When a ray of light passes through the focus of the convex lens, then it becomes parallel to the principal axis after refraction through the lens. Now let us see the ray diagrams. When object is at infinity, when object is at 2f, beyond 2f, between f and 2f at focus between f and o refraction by a convex concave lens rules a ray of light parallel to the principal axis of the concave lens appears to be coming from focus after refraction through the lens a ray light passing through the optical center of the concave lens goes straight after refraction through the lens. A ray of light going towards the focus on another side of the concave lens becomes parallel to the principal axis after refraction through the lens. Now let us see the ray diagrams. When object is infinity, object between infinity and optical center of the lens. At last, thank you.